My name is Arash Salemi. I'm the clinical chairman of cardiothoracic surgery at RWJ Barnabas Health, encompassing the Newark Beth Israel Medical Center, the St. Barnabas Medical Center, and Jersey City Medical Center as well. I am an adult cardiac surgeon. Uh, my background is in adult cardiac surgery. My practice involves all different forms of adult surgery, including valvular heart disease, reoperative heart disease, uh, ventricular assist device placement, and standard coronary artery bypass grafting. The transcatheter approach, also known as TAVR, T-A-V-R, is a procedure whereby we avoid the sternotomy incision, we avoid the heart-lung machine, and we, it's a sutureless technique. Because of this, it's minimally invasive, and it's a procedure that's performed through the groin, uh, through the artery of the leg. The procedure only lasts about an hour, and patients typically go home within a day or two and are fully functional within a week. What we found was that patients who had significant comorbidities were not being offered uh, surgical aortic valve replacement for their aortic stenosis. And as we all know, those patients with medical therapy do not stand to do well. Um, the alternative of TAVR, when it was introduced, gave an opportunity to these patients to be cured. At some point, when we looked at the results of those trials, we found that patients did very well in that higher risk cohort. Over time, we realized, well, if patients in the higher risk cohort do well, then it's likely that lower risk patients can do well as well. And so we started looking at this technology in healthier patients. Now I'm happy to say that we can offer TAVR to anyone with severe aortic stenosis that's symptomatic, and all these patients are now candidates, whether they're low risk or high risk for surgery. The power of TAVR is that uh, it provides a functional replacement of the aortic valve similar or exactly as a surgical valve replacement does. And so it is the same ultimate outcome, but we're able to do it minimally invasively with a catheter as opposed to open heart surgery. One of the exciting developments in, in the TAVR space has been the introduction of cerebral protection devices. Uh, with these devices, which we have available at St. Barnabas Medical Center, we deploy filters in the carotid arteries of patients who are about to undergo the procedure in order to capture any debris that may decide to go into the cerebral vasculature, and thus we avoid uh, stroke incidents. We are building off of the successes of TAVR and its uh, utility in patients with aortic stenosis. Uh, we are developing technologies for the mitral valve, the tricuspid valve, as well as the pulmonic valve. In fact, here at St. Barnabas Medical Center, we are evaluating a clinical trial which will be available in the second quarter of this year for a transcatheter valve replacement uh, of the mitral valve, uh, which will be a minimally invasive technique, again, without the use of the heart-lung machine.